Hello, Laverne here, and I'd like to thank you for joining me. May this video be a blessing to you and to your loved ones, and may it honor and glorify our Father in heaven. I am sure if you have been a Christian for more than 15 minutes, you will have heard the term birth pangs. Well, it's unfortunate, but this is a uh, too often used expression to explain the place we are on the prophetic timeline. The problem is most Christians believe we are farther along the timeline than what we really are. And so in this video, I'm going to explain why it is that it's not birth pangs that we are experiencing, but rather a quickening of the Antichrist spirit a quickening of the spirit of the beast and of the false prophet. In other words, we are in the beginning stages of the Antichrist, the beast, and the false prophet system being established. But we are still too far away to say we are experiencing the birth pangs. I've explained in other videos that the Antichrist and the false prophet are going to rise from Protestantism, and they are going to use the Protestant Bible made up of 66 books to deceive the masses, to deceive the world. And it will be Christianity that actually establishes the beast system. It will be through and by way of Christianity that the false prophet that the Antichrist and the beast are going to rise, and specifically from Protestantism. I've explained in a good number of my videos that the great prostitute that is described in the book of Revelation is in fact the Catholic Church. It is Rome as it is situated today. But Revelation tells us that this great prostitute has many daughters that are also prostitutes. And nowhere do you find in the scriptures that it tells us the Antichrist or the beast are going to come from the great prostitute. And yet that is what many Christians teach today. We are told that the beast actually grows to hate and destroys the great prostitute that once rode the beast. Well, I'd like to put to you that it will be one of her daughters. It will be from Protestantism that the Antichrist and the false prophet come and they help establish the beast system that eventually destroys the great prostitute. All of this is important because we have so many Christians today believing they are woke believing they have been awakened when in fact they are spiritually dead. For centuries, the devil, the dragon, also known as Satan, has been creating uh, divisiveness within the church, creating many denominations with doctrine and theology that is incompatible with one another. So for centuries, the tactic of the devil has been to divide Christians. But now, as we draw closer and closer to the final battle, we are seeing a convergence of end-time prophecy. But this is just the beginning of the convergence of prophecy. There is still much more that has to be fulfilled yet before the Antichrist, the beast, and the false prophet actually come on the scene. And this means then we are still far away, I shouldn't say far away, but we are still some time away yet from having to worry about the mark of the beast that so many are talking about today, claiming that they know what the mark of the beast is, that it's the uh, microchip, that it's the worldwide web, that it is the COVID vaccine or the COVID swab, all of these are lies designed to uh, mis or use misdirection 
to get us looking to the left when we should be looking to the right. And uh, I didn't mean it to be this way, but this actually leads into my next topic, and that is politics within the United States. Now, a good number of people have told me I need to stay away from politics. Do not talk about what is going on in the United States when it comes to politics. But if we are going to discuss in time prophecy, and if we are going to be watchmen and warn people about what is going on, and if we are going to correctly interpret and explain in time prophecy, then we will have to discuss the politics within the most powerful and most influential nations in the world, of which, without doubt, the United States is one. And what we see happening is that there are many people claiming to be woken, claiming to be uh, awakened to the truth. And many will point to QAnon as the source for the truth, as the, the, the source and the means by which they have been awakened. But I tell you, QAnon is of the devil, pure and simple. God would not use an anonymous source to share the truth. QAnon, without doubt, without any question, has nothing to do with the kingdom of God, but rather to do with the ruler of this world. And so what we see is the beast and the Antichrist spirits are using Christianity and using QAnon to help establish a new world power. And QAnon is now spreading to Europe. So think of all the misinformation that has come from QAnon and think about what the Republican Party is doing in the United States today. You now have people saying publicly that there should be thousands of people from the, the party of the Democrats killed, executed because of their beliefs. And there are actually very few people from the Republican Party today speaking out against this. You have conspiracy theories being embraced by Christians within the Republican Party. You have the Republican Party and the members of it claiming that they are a or the Christian party, that you cannot be Christian and vote for any party other than the Republican Party. So we have this rise of power of a Christian party in the United States. And for the most part, the largest portion, I should say, of that party is evangelicals. They are the ones that are actually controlling <clears throat> the strings of the party. So evangelicals are becoming extremely influential. And evangelicals, many, are calling for people to pick up arms and to rebel against the sitting president, claiming that the election was stolen. And so we see this division within the United States, one party claiming to represent God, picking up arms. But Christ warns that if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. Yet this is falling on deaf ears when it comes to Christians in the United States, at least falling on deaf ears of many Christians. So what we see happening is that the devil is using the Protestant Bible. The devil is using Christians to form a party and to create a military and political power from the United States or within the United States. And I tell you, this power is going to grow. But as of yet, the beast, the Antichrist, and the false prophet have not been revealed. So much has to happen before the Antichrist and beast system is actually able to be established. This is why I say we are not experiencing birth pangs, but rather a quickening. Now, if you were to uh, Google or do a search for the meaning of quickening, what you will find is that it is often used or it comes from 
the idea or the uh, the time period in which a woman first feels the baby within her womb move. This is called the quickening. And this is the stage that we are actually at. We are now seeing a quickening of the spirit of the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the beast. There is this quickening, and there will be a growth but a growth period, but it will be a period of time. It will, it will be some time before we reach that period of the actual birth pangs. So right now, that's the, the place we, were, we are at today. There is this quickening going on. And as believers, as members of the elect, I mean, I shouldn't say believers, but as members of the elect, we must be able to recognize what is going on and that the devil is using Christians to create the new world order. And it's not being done, as many claim, from the left. It is not, you know, the Democrats that are this cabal, uh, you know, a system of cabalists that are uh, pedophiles. Uh, including Hollywood, these are not the ones that you need to be afraid of. They are not the ones that you need to be looking at for the Antichrist and beast to come from. No, it is actually from people who claim to have been awakened, who claim to be woke, who claim to know the truth, a truth coming from conspiracy theories or made up of conspiracy theories. The COVID vaccine is not the mark of the beast. It cannot be. The beast system and the mark of the beast, this all comes out of chaos that comes from the seven seals being opened and the seven trumpets sounded. And we are just about to see or have seen the first seal being opened. And I want to put to you that the white horse actually represents Israel being a conqueror. I believe what we are going to see is a major war in the Middle East in which Israel is going to win. And after taking over all of Jerusalem, after having complete control, they will then begin the building of the third temple. And after the sacrifices begin, Sometime later, there's going to be another war in which Jerusalem will be trampled. But before that happens, all of the seals have to be open. All of the trumpets, or at least the first six, are going to be sounded. There's going to be great chaos. One third of the world's population is going to be destroyed. Basically, one third of the planet destroyed. Rivers are going to run red. Oceans are going to be spewing out the fish. Birds are going to lose their flight. Women are going to give birth in the third and fourth month of their pregnancy, and children are going to live. These are the things that are going to happen. So this is why I say we are not nearly as far along the prophetic timeline as many Christians are teaching. And because they are in air, they are actually helping to establish and helping to set up the, the beast system. They are, in fact, they have taken on or they have in them the Antichrist spirit and the spirit of the false prophet and the spirit of the beast. It is in most believers today. Scripture is very clear that many are called, but few are chosen. Well, in the United States, hundreds of millions have been called, but few are going to be chosen. Many claim to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, claim to hear the voice of Yahweh. Well, I've made a good number of videos in which I talk about these kinds of things. And I, I've explained in my videos that the false prophets that prophesied about Trump winning the election have been exposed. 
and that this is why Yahweh allowed these false prophets to prophesy and why Trump lost. It was to reveal the multitude of false prophets in the United States because uh, the United States per capita has more false prophets than any nation in the world. And Yahweh, he has been so wise to expose these false prophets, and yet today they are still being embraced, being embraced by QAnon followers, being embraced by Trump and the cult of Trump. My brothers and sisters, there are so few that actually are able to see what is happening, so few that actually see the truth of what is going on. So few able to see that Christianity is being used by the devil to establish the Antichrist and beast system. And without doubt, without question, Trump is one of the main players in doing this. I'm not saying Trump is the Antichrist because we are still too far from that point. But Trump is helping to establish that system. Trump without doubt is an evil and wicked man that many Christian Americans are worshiping today. Worshiping an evil, wicked man, unable to see him for what he really is. I've made videos showing the connection of Trump to the Illuminati and Freemasonry, and therefore a connection with the New World Order. There's no doubt, there is so much evidence that he is a Freemason, that his father was a high-ranking Freemason. And Trump is as wicked as they come. So these Christians that are, are bowing down to Trump and worshiping him know that you are part of the problem, not the solution. You are not helping advance the kingdom of God, but rather working for the ruler of this world. My brothers and sisters, if you are truly a member of the elect, you should be able to see what is happening and that what I'm saying is the truth. Only a few are going to be chosen. Two Esdras tells us that the saved compared to the unsaved is as a drop is unto a wave. That is how narrow and difficult the path really is truly is so the question is are you walking that narrow path or are you part of the deceived and are you simply following the traditions and lies of mainstream christianity all right as always i look forward to your comments and messages do you believe trump is a true man of god do you believe something else other than what I've said, that perhaps the beast is, you know, something else, or the beast is going to come from some other place? That, you know, Islam or something, something like Islam is the beast or the great prostitute. Are you putting your faith in someone like Donald Trump? Are you putting your faith in an anonymous source such as QAnon? Do you believe these conspiracies such as, well, I'm not even going to get into them. There are simply too many and they are too crazy. But the fact that so many Christians believe them is very unsettling and very telling of the time that we are living in. Till next time, peace and blessings.